Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. So, what? What are you looking at? That's what are you guys that. looking at? What? I could see you guys looking. Okay. It's. I just been lazy, guys. I've been lazy. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look. I. You know what? I almost lost my toe, guys. For some of you guys that only wish the worst for me, your dream almost come true. I got stung by stingray. I was careless. I did not clean it. Got really infected and almost lost my toe. But the reason for the beard is because I don't go in the water a lot and when I go in the water, I wear a mask. Otherwise, see look, Alvy has a beard. Guys, we sports beard. And so when I'm not in the water, I have to wear any of that, I sport a beard, you know? So whatever, man, what? This, this is like a gay Tinder, dude, come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just made a comment. <laughs> okay, so guys, we got a lot of questions, a lot of inquiries. Uh, people are saying, hey man, what's up with all the different frame material? You know, the carbon fiber, the aluminum. What is high tin? And the Cromali, the 4130, the 6000, 7000. Uh, oh God, I could go on for days, guys. But guys, let's keep it very simple, okay? First of all, I don't have a frame here to talk about carbon fiber, but carbon fiber, if some of you guys know, it's like a fiberglass, a more stronger version of carbon uh, fiberglass. Some of you guys, if you guys have the time, you guys are, are there, type it out. Explain to the rest of us what is carbon, okay? I'm not gonna get deep into it. All I know is that carbon is like fiberglass, but stronger and lighter. There's a different type of processing of carbon fiber. The one on bikes is, I, I think it's autoclave that's been vacuumed. I don't know. It's one of those and it's strong. Didn't you used to make it in your living room? No, so I, I, I know how to lay fiberglass and you could buy carbon fiber sheets that you could wet it down with resin and, and do it like what you do to a surfboard. But that in itself is not the truest form of carbon. That is actually very weak. It just gives you the carbon fiber look, but it's not strong like carbon. I think the really, really good carbon that you see them do race cars with is autoclave. Uh, look it up, guys. I'm not gonna sit there and explain it. And the one they use on aircraft, space shuttle, is even beyond that. But look it up. The next thing is aluminum. I have a race bike right here. Most race race bike you see, it's gonna be out of aluminum. Mountain bikes, most of them, majority of them, it's gonna be out of aluminum. Road bikes, all the SE uh, big wheel bikes, some of the GT are aluminum. Why? In racing, you want something to be lightweight. The lighter it is, the more advantage you have in any kind of sport, right? If you are if you guys follow MMA, me and Alf are big MMA fans. All those guys you see fighting, they're, they're lighter. So their body is so used to carrying like a 200 pound person, they cut down to about like 170, 160. Now their body is lighter so they could actually move better. Somebody tells me, hey, food's wrong. Let me explain it. Then they go ahead and explain it, but that's what I know, okay? So the lighter, the better performance you're gonna be. So that's where they get the aluminum for the racing. Then you got high tin. What is high tin? High tinsel steel. That is probably the cheapest form of steel. Again, guys, I'm not out here. I'm not gonna talk about different metal property and all that, we're gonna talk BMX, okay? If you wanna look it up, look up what high tinsel steel is, what is the matter? But high tinsel steel it is the cheapest form of steel that you could use on a BMX bike or on pretty much anything. You Pretty much a Campbell soup can, right? A can. This stand is not even high tinsel steel. A, a high tinsel steel is what you would see out of like, like a Campbell soup can. Cheap. When you go to Walmart, you go to like Kmart, you're buying a beach cruiser, those are all high tinsel steel. When you buy low, low end BMX bike, you're talking about the one that's like less than 200 bucks, those are high tinsel steel. Now, it's, it, it, we would make it sound like high tinsel steel, it's junk. Why would they make it? No, it, it will still hold up. It will still hold up, but I've always told you guys, for what purpose are you guys using it for? High tinsel steel, if you build a bike, to ride it from point A to point B, go to a liquor store, go to school, that's perfectly fine. But when you start riding it to the to the level of Alf, Ethan, Max, yeah, the high tensile steel is not gonna do it, it's a liability. For a guy like me, high tensile steel is fine, okay? 
Now we talk about the 4130, which is also chromoly. Now, wait a second, guys. Don't go, oh, no, no, no. 4130 is a grade of chromoly, just like aluminum. You guys hear the 7K, the 7,000 aluminum, the 6,000. There's actually even lower quality than that, but in the BMX world, the 6,000, 7,000 is what you guys hear a lot. It's the different grade of aluminum. 7,000 is gonna be harder, stronger, but guess what, guys? It won't be as flexible, so it's more prone to crack. The 6,000, most of these stems you see in here, it's going to be around the 6,000 grade aluminum. So 4130 chromoly is also a grade of chromoly. They have cheaper chromoly, but what is the 4130? Again, guys, look it up. I don't got the time, all right? I think, I think what? The YouTube, it says it's like what? The threshold is 12 to 13 minutes is the, is, is the key. So guys, I gotta mentally count it inside my head. I gotta count it. But the 4130, look it up. 4130 chromoly, it's also the same type of chromoly they use to build race cars with. The chassis, the roll bar, the kit. And if it's good enough for that, it's good enough for these guys to send it down a set of stairs, okay? A lot of you guys always think about, oh, 4130, 4130. It's just chromoly. He treated chromoly, it's good, okay? Now, just like what I just said, there's chromoly, and there's also heat treated chromoly. The heat, any, almost anything heat treated, I believe, I believe, okay? Almost anything heat treated is better than the natural form. If you guys watch how they do samurai swords, they heat treat those. Knives, I'm, I'm a big knife guy, guys. You guys don't know that. But it's heat treated and they hammer that stuff down. It makes it stronger. Alf, some of those Lambos, they got heat treated, uh, what is it, crankshaft? Correct. Heat treated uh, uh, piston uh, rods. Sets. Yeah, so anything heat treated is better. Why? Look it up. I know it. I'm not gonna explain it, okay? So, you got the 4130 chromoly that's heat treated. Now, why can't they make Ethan's frame here, the sleeper, out of this aluminum? It's lighter, won't it make him bunny hop better? Won't make him ride better? Yes, it would if it was a little bit lighter, okay? But guys, the aluminum is not as strong. It's not, it's, it's more brittle. Right now, right now, if I was to get a file, hey, check this out. You guys, you guys ready for this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not for you guys, not for you guys, not even for you guys. I'm not gonna go destroy this beautiful frame. But guys, if I went and I was to just file this down, within an hour of me filing th this thing down, I could probably penetrate this, okay? But the aluminum, if I went and I started filing this, I bet you within five minutes, I could cut through that top tube because the aluminum is softer. That's why it's lighter. So now imagine if I could file through this and it would cut through this. Imagine if Ethan was to go hop on a ledge, grind, and you know how sometimes you get all the grinding and the, the just the the, the, the the concrete eating away this. Guys, if that was aluminum, within one out, within one long grind, this chain stay is gone. So it's not as hard, it's not as strong. The other thing is, guys, this is gonna sound weird and, and Somebody educate this old dog, okay? Because I want to learn a new trick here. The aluminum is softer, it's lighter. But guess what, guys? It's more stiff. Doesn't that sound kind of weird? If it's lighter, it's, it's more brittle. Why would it be more stiff? The density. I don't know. Somebody explain it. Al says density. I don't know, okay? I'm just, I'm just a dude that just got off the boat. I really don't know about these kind of things, all right? But it's more stiff. The chromoly it tends to flex a little bit more, it tends to give a little bit more. That's what I've heard. So, I've heard guys that got on, a, like, like they're racing on aluminum frame, and then they'll get on a chromoly race frame because they do make them, not that much. And they're like, dude, when I snap the gate, it doesn't feel as rigid, it doesn't feel as snappy. So they'll go back on. But I've also heard guys that have dirt jump aluminum frame because they want lighter. And they're like, dude, it feels weird. When I hit the jumps, it's so stiff that I'm not used to that stiffness. And my arm going through those the, the bumps and the jumps and all that, dude, it hurts. Some of you guys comment in. Have you guys experienced that? Have you guys felt that? Let's hear what you guys think. Carbon, let's do, you know, like, like let's make this out of carbon since they make Formula One and all that. Again, guys, the carbon is strong, but if I went and I took a file and I sat there and I started filing on like one of those Formula One, even the Space Shuttle's wing, the carbon piece of it, the file will go, still go through it. But when you go and you try to bend it, you try to 
flex it, it's gonna be stronger than the steel. But the abrasion on it, it won't, it won't last as much as the chromoly. So again, on the freestyle bike, on the bike that you're gonna grind, the carbon is not going to withstand the abrasion of the grinding, the rubbing and all that. The high tinsel steel, let's forget about it, okay guys? Guys, just make it real clear. Of all the material I said, the high tinsel steel, if it's not, if it's a beach cruiser, that's fine. Anything beyond that, you don't want it. Okay, I'm not gonna, dude, just forget about it. High tinsel steel, out the door. Okay, I don't care how much the price is, well, should, out, out the door. Because all you guys are gonna do is miss, just break a lot of teeth, okay? The high tinsel steel stuff, I would not put the person I hate the most on a high tinsel steel bike, it's just junk. Okay, let's just forget about that. Let me see what else am I, let's see what else am I missing. Alf, what else am I missing? I had something earlier, but then you covered it. Oh, you know what else, guys? What else is, I know it's not that important, is the finish. Oh. The, the, the aluminum. The tubing, too, the shape. Because, you know, they'll teardrop it, and it will be okay. stronger. Okay, yeah. okay, I'll get to that. But, guys, the finish, okay? Aluminum, you could anodize aluminum. You cannot anodize chromoly. Why is that? Look it up. Okay, you guys got the Google, okay? I'm not I'm not that dude. Some people go, well, this is anodized. This is the closest you can get to anodize. But aluminum, you can anodize. Aluminum, you can polish to a mirror shine. Chromoly, you cannot. But guys, Alf brought up a pretty good thing is that the aluminum, you can make the aluminum strong. Stiff by the shape of the tubing. Look at this. Look how this thing's oval. So it's gonna make it a lot stiffer. Look at this. Look how this thing is thin and it bulges up. This is a DK race bike. This right here, the aluminum, it's easier to do this to aluminum. Uh, I think, was it hydroform? Some some of the some of the term is hydroform, some of the L1 where it's butted, but they could hydroform this a lot easier than, than chromoly. They can do this to chromoly, but it's a lot harder and it's, it's a lot more pricey. Whereas the chromoly, they could keep it. Circle, round, it's easy. The, the hardness of it, it's just perfect. Um, I think I'm out. I think I'm out of material. I'm out, dude, I'm out of air, man. Yeah, jeez. Oh, that beard. The beard? So guys, I hope I cover that. Uh, I know I'm kind of all over the place today about that because there's so much to talk about, but it's that's about as cold cut and dry. Okay, guys? Why you can't use aluminum for a street bike, why you should use aluminum for race bike. I hope I cover that. Uh, you guys, some of you guys comment in. I, I really like it where there's a lot of you guys out there that putting like a long, long comment. I read those. There's a couple of you guys that I read it. I go, oh, that's really interesting. I like that. So guys, comment in. This is a community. Let's help those other guys. If we got something help. Some of you guys that don't got anything to positive to say and you guys just putting stupid comment in, get off. Get off the channel, dude. Don't don't unsubscribe though. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm out.